Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To record terminated employees or otherwise change an employee's payroll status in QuickBooks Online if you subscribe to a QuickBooks Online payroll service, hover over the payroll link in the navigation bar and then click the employees link in the side menu that appears to open the employees page. For terminated employees, first make sure you have issued the employee their final paycheck. In the employees page, click the name of the employee whose payroll status you want to change to open their employee details page. Then click the edit link in the upper right corner of the employment details section in the employee details page to open the employment details window. Click the status drop down and select the desired payroll status choice. Choices include active, terminated, paid leave of absence, unpaid leave of absence, deceased, and not on payroll, which is used for layoffs or furloughs. If you select the terminated, unpaid leave of absence, not on payroll, or deceased choice, and want to continue showing the employee in non-payroll lists, check the Show in Employee Lists Only checkbox that then appears. If you select the terminated choice, then enter their date of termination into the termination date field that then also appears. Then click the Save button in the lower right corner of this window to save the changes and close it. To adjust how the employee list appears in the employees page, click the drop down towards the upper left corner of the list to choose either the active employees, inactive employees, or All Employees option. QuickBooks Online Plus saves terminated employee data for a full year to ensure tax submissions and reports are accurate. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.